some like you know work uh, and we had few appointments uh, oh, okay i think we're live on facebook now so hello to anyone watching uh, to all our audience watching today joining us today for this week's episode of designer diaries and today we have a well known designer aslam hussein with us and as always uh, this series is sponsored by informatics institute of technology and now we'll have a look at a video by iit Yes, so like I mentioned before, this series is sponsored by Informatics Institute of Technology, who offer a, an MA in Fashion Business Management. It's the only fashion business masters offered in Southeast Asia as okay. an internal qualification by the University of Westminster, one of UK's top-ranking fashion schools. The graduates of this program range from influential brands such as Marks and Spencer, Hermes, Omega, and Prada. and the students are taught by academically and industry experienced eminent lecture panels they are given practical experience into business organizations through guest lectures workshops and industry visits this course is made to equip you with valuable decision making leadership and problem solving skills that you will need to become a visionary fashion business leader of the future it continues the university's fashion tradition of a commitment to excellence in developing highly highly effective talented and committed professional fashion graduates it helps you to work closely with fashion industry professionals role models and mentors and you will receive a relevant well grounded high quality education and skill base that will enable you to have a wider clearer understanding of the business that you're already involved in So that's a little bit about our sponsors and about our guest speaker for today Ms Aslam Hussein is not um is a very commonly heard is a very popular name in the fashion industry today especially when it comes to bridal wear and um especially in that particular area of the industry so he has been in this industry for quite a period of time and if i'm not mistaken since he was very young actually So Mr Aslam just tell me a little bit about what inspired I know you started very young so what really inspired you to start at that age what was what was so intriguing about this industry mm, yeah well uh, it's actually um uh, when i was very young um, i was like uh, inspired with many things like you know see about when i look at something if 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 it is not uh, in a proper Uh, a manner so i just like correct that you know normally like if someone is dressing so i always look at their dress and i always like tell it's like you know um it's not right the color is not right or like something like i always like you know uh, um uh, into this uh, uh, so these things like uh, inspire me so much because my my 
uh, it's a, my, my our family business was uh, into textile. We went to like tailoring, mm -hmm. and uh, I was schooling uh, uh, in my father's like uh, factory. So machines and you know a lot of people around, cutters like you know clothes, fabrics, everything inspired me. So I think uh, from there uh, I started. Okay, so you were uh, you basically grew up in that kind of environment, yes, exposed yes. to that, that actually environment. Actually, the environment. Yeah. So am I right in saying that you started when you were 15? Yes, I started uh, uh, with my label uh, when I was 15, just before the O levels. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, at that time, it, because it, it, it was a sudden uh, incident, I had to uh, be because my brothers were doing the business. And at that time, like, you know, my brother was helpless, uh, helpless, like when he was like going for purchasing and all that, you know, he wanted me to join with him. And, you know, uh, he wanted to like, you know, give some ideas uh, because he realized uh, very much and that I have uh, uh, good uh, color uh, uh, taste. So he okay. always and you know he asked me how this is how so those things like you know uh, uh, encouraged me so much and uh, especially like uh, you know that was the incident that I had to like come in then I started uh, doing that so while studying uh, you know I started uh, my own creations uh, when I was 15. Okay and then you opened your own store in 2001 was it? Uh, yes, that was my own store. But uh, actually, uh, we we are family because we I have four yes. brothers. Uh, mm -hmm. So we we always like uh, uh, very united. Uh, still, we are like that. And uh, you know, uh, so we had like a family business called GBS. Actually, mostly yeah. our family called okay. by GBS. If, if you ask anyone like GBS family, so that's our family name. So GBS is quite popular island wide and internationally locally. Uh, GBS. So. Um, uh, 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 it was like, uh, you know, uh, a family business. Uh, where there, I, uh, I started my own work and own creations. Uh, you know, we customized so many, like, uh, you know, clients' uh, uh, outfits. And uh, there, I, uh, how it came, like, you know, in 2001, I started uh, as, like, in Kalambu. Uh, say, it was GB's clothing, Aslam Hussain, uh, uh, GB's uh, designer studio. So that's how it became. Yeah, so your family business was called GBs, and that's what you were involved in as a um, teenager, right? And then yes. you opened your first store. So what was that about? It was actually, it was with my uh, uh, own creations. I started with my own label, own saris, own, own uh, like a rigid wear collection. So I started the bridal, actually bridal, uh, the very first bridal I did when I was 16. So... Uh, so in 2001, it was like, you know, mostly like, you know, ready to wear. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, yeah it, it calls GB's Designer Studio. Okay. So then um, about your label, Aslam Hussein, which is very famous now. So when did that exactly start? Yeah, that started uh, when it was about 2000, uh, 2008. 2007, 2008. But before that, though, it's a family name, uh, uh, GBs. Uh, Aslam Hussein was like, you know, behind that. Everyone knows, like, when it comes to GBs, you know, Aslam, became, I was very popular. I was uh, managing uh, the store. And, okay. uh, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> so GBs was quite popular behind, uh, behind GBs name, Aslam Hussein was there. So, Aslam, so um, something that I was, think we should talk about, especially considering that our audience is mainly aspiring fashion designers and people who want to get into this industry. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that there is some sort of stigma or like a gender kind of stereotype that comes with getting into this industry, especially if you're a male, there are certain um, notions that, oh, this is an industry for the women, like why is, um, I know some of the greatest designers are in fact male, but yeah. Still, this notion still exists. So what but do you have to I, say about that? Yeah, I don't believe in that because, you know, mm. uh, uh, exactly a man only can describe a woman. A man only can uh, criticize a woman. Uh, a man only can love a woman. So, you know, so that is that kind of like, you know, 
uh, thing like you, that uh, gender issue is not related at all. You know, whoever has create creative mind, creativity, yeah. talent, all that like it all depends because you know there's no barrier or no rules or regulations like it is uh, only uh, a woman or method. today uh, when you take the most world famous designers, most mm -hmm. of the designers are men. So uh, I think you know it's. Uh, it's all about your creativity. Whoever like uh, are creative, if they have talent, so definitely they can get into this. Yeah, and what do you think are the main challenges? What were the main challenges that you had to face when you, um, I know you came from a background of the fashion, in, the, in the fashion industry, but when you were going out on your own and starting your own label, what were some of the main challenges that you had to face, especially considering the Sri Lankan market? Uh, yeah, that uh, uh, honestly, Tabitha, uh, it's if you have a proper knowledge in this, if you have a proper identity, uh, uh, what you are going to make, so that it won't be uh, difficult because you, whatever like you are doing, you have challenges. But you know, yeah. it's mostly, mostly like you know, uh, getting the customer, the clients proper like. Um, need so what they exactly want this is the main uh, like you know uh, things to like uh, consider and you know to give a proper uh, product more than what they expect you know so that is the most like challenge because uh, i i know more uh, most of the time when i meet the bride because they come with a lot of inspirations mm -hmm. you know i ask their inspiration so when i find out the inspiration you have to like you know um uh, create something but more than what they expect this is yeah. what i do so far i don't have any like you know i have done so many bridals but uh, most of the brides and the brides of the mothers like you know they cry uh, when they see the final product this is the challenge mm -hmm. actually to satisfy to make them happy so uh, i think that's the most like challenge and also um, you have to always like uh, think uh, think of the client side and the yeah, nature yeah. of the event or whatever they like to uh, outfit they want to wear uh, uh, for the uh, um, uh, uh, the function you know, whatever the like event that we are wearing these things like you know if you find out properly definitely it is not going to be uh, difficult so what do you think are the main um, criteria or main factors that you need to look into especially when a client comes to you what are the main factors that you look into or what do you think a client should focus on? Is it the style or is it comfort or what are the main factors? I think Abita, first inside? of all, you have to, you have to look at the client. You have to see okay. the client, what kind of a look that uh, client has. So uh, a designer uh, should understand uh, 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 the client's look and the uh, nature of the like you know the sizes and all important so when you look mm -hmm. at the client you should know what kind of a design you are going to produce so these things like are very important so clients comes with a lot of ideas they bring a lot of like concept a uh, lot of like you know trends and all that but you know we have to know we should understand uh, what to give them so that's very important Okay, so basically the requirements of the clients also matter, but also as a designer, you kind of have the better eye to kind of know what goes and what doesn't go, is that, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So how do you think the landscape of design in fashion, uh, in the fashion industry has evolved since the time when you initially started? How has it evolved and what are the, um, let's say, the challenges that still remain in our country for this industry. Yeah, Tabitha, if you look at yesterday, today, and tomorrow, actually, um, uh, the lookout for change and involving, evolving yesterday, um, uh, sorry, every day, we are moving at a fast uh, pace, and I feel there's plenty of scope in terms of designs uh, because uh, there are so many things you can do if you put your heart and soul uh, into whatever you do. Yeah. So, um, what kind of so there are a lot of design, a lot of people who want to, a lot of aspiring fashion designers, a lot of students who want to get into this industry. Um, so, what 
do you think is a first step say for example if i i just let's just imagine i've just gotten out of school and i'm interested in getting into this industry okay. what do you recommend do i do a course do i intern with someone do i get some experience what will what what do you recommend no, that's that i do all all important but you know most of all you have to have patient uh, yeah. courage uh, and also being team sport and um, uh, being empathetic and understanding and believing in yourself are all important to me actually you know it's the most like you know you have to have patience because uh, this uh, this is not like you know you have you have to have a lot of patience i think and dedication you know that's uh, those are the things uh, very important yeah and also so it's being a designer especially when you have a large if you're not only a designer but you're also a business person so how is it um, managing the design aspect as well as the branding the marketing the business aspect of it what are the challenges and how do you overcome that kind of thing yeah that's a bit difficult to write you know or control over like the most of this like sections but you have to have uh, like you know you have to organize uh, uh, yourself you know uh, and what kind of uh, like you know responsible you have uh, especially like all these like marketing or advertising uh, saying yourself or whatever like you know more than everything you have to have a proper uh, reputation that's very important yeah. because you know if you don't have a uh, proper reputation you know clients won't come because you have to have... i guess that goes with branding and yeah. promoting yourself yeah? yeah yeah so that's very important your time is very important you know you have to uh, work uh, 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 with uh, like you know very uh, uh, organized uh, calendar because it's very important so so many people when they come they are like you know they ask like how your delivery how this and you know what how many days before you like do all that like you know so this is all uh, what they had their previous bad experience uh, yeah. so many people complains about other designers and you know i don't know but you know there are so many so many people have these complaints that you know they, they disappoint them so many uh, ways because in, in that case so you have to the time is very Uh, precious for everyone you know uh, yeah. if you give an appointment or, or whatever like if you give a time for a client you know you have to um, attend to the client uh, on the same time because they don't want, want to come and uh, wait for a long time and all that you know in that case like you know uh, you have to uh, uh, be very organized uh, uh, in this yeah, mostly and- like you know more than marketing and everything you have to have a proper reputation that's very important yeah. yeah so you need to have that kind of skill as well to improve on those skills of branding yeah. and marketing yourself as well and on the note of time management i know that you're a very busy man with a lot of appointments and all that so what advice would you give for someone who wants to get into this industry how do you balance both work and your personal life yeah that's actually you know as i said you have to have a uh, time for everything so mm-hmm. time management is very important and a uh, lot of dedication so you know you have to dedicate yourself you have to be uh, concentrate on like each and every design so from piece that you are creating you have to you have to try to like make it something very unique uh, mm. you know it's uh, so many people make mistake there and uh, the new uh, designer that i would like to say like you know trend so always they follow the trends they like mm-hmm. get from somewhere and you have to inspire with the uh, the designs but you know you can take them as inspirations but you can't like follow the same thing to another uh, person because you know sometimes it depends on the uh, person to person so, you know you always yeah. uh, you can inspire with something but you know don't try to like uh, exactly uh, do copy on a wrong person yes yeah. so yeah. this is a lot of imagination you have to imagine a lot so when it comes uh, you know if you are um, try to like create something you think so much like you know you have to like uh, think of the person you have to think of the event you have to think of the uh, nature everything this these things are very important yeah so any final i know that you have to go a little early today so any final words as to advice for any one watching who wants to get into this industry uh yes i would like to say like you know whether like the new um, upcoming designer so like whoever wants to do this course uh, it's uh, it's it's a beautiful thing we create in every day we create uh, a new things when you create something uh, new and it becomes success you know you don't know how much the pleasure and you know you don't 
can't believe uh, the happiness so try you know this is a wonderful feeling and wonderful uh, uh, thing to like uh, you know um, uh, do in your life so so this is not only creating you are making someone happy so uh, it's it's something making someone happy is like you know uh, it's a good thing like you know it's uh, a, it's a wonderful thing so i would like to say that uh, oh, we were like watching this so it's full feeling on both ends i guess yeah <laughs> okay miss uh, okay aslam thank you so much for joining us and taking time off your schedule to speak to us i'm sure that whoever has been watching would have been really inspired by your words and your advice and we also want to thank our viewers for taking time off their sunday evening to watch us today we hope you've learned something we're sure you've learned something so thank you again for joining us and join us again for the next episode at designer diaries thank you so much have a nice day Thank you thank you very much